Hello, and welcome to this film, which is about covalent bonding. It's the first of four. This one's just an introduction to the topic. Um, you've probably come to this one having just watched some films about metallic and ionic bonding, where atoms are quite keen to give away electrons. This is um, dealing with atoms that aren't so keen to do that. And hopefully by the end of this film, um, you will know how to spot elements that would rather share electrons than give them away or take them and then form covalent bonds and you'll know the definition of a covalent bond and a molecule and how we can represent covalent bonds in molecules using diagrams. These definitions are so so important because if they're not understood correctly they basically mess up explanations all throughout the um, bonding topic. Okay so first of all how do we spot a covalent molecule? Well as we saw before, if you want to spot an ionic substance, it's going to be a combination of a metal with a non-metal, so one that, an atom that wants to lose electrons combined with one that wants to gain. A metallic structure will just be made of metals, so that is atoms that want to lose electrons. Well, we're now looking at um, elements that want to gain electrons, so the elements with high electronegativity Okay, those ones over here that attract electrons strongly. Okay, the non-metals. So if ever you've got two non-metal elements combined together, they're going to form covalent bonds because they're not keen to give electrons away. They want to gain electrons to fill their outer shells. So just to have some simple examples, you could have HCl. HCl is made of two non-metals. Sulfuric acid, I've just chosen two acids there. Um, but we could have ammonia or any combination of two non-metal elements and that means you've got a covalent molecule okay so look out for combinations of two non-metal elements what is a covalent molecule well this leads us on to these really important definitions a molecule is defined as any two or more atoms that are held together by a covalent bond okay so it doesn't have to be a compound Okay, so O2 is a molecule in the same way that H2O is a molecule. You don't have to have two atoms, you can have two or more. You could have glucose, for example. So here we've got three different kinds of atoms, but 24 atoms altogether making up this one molecule. Okay, because they're held together by covalent bonds, that makes all three of these things covalent molecules. How can you tell they're held together by covalent bonds? Because they're all non-metals definition of a covalent bond, well, that is the mutual shared attraction, or the mutual attraction, to put it more simply, the mutual attraction of two nuclei for a shared pair of electrons. And it's got to be a pair. So not just shared electrons, but a shared pair of electrons okay so make sure you remember those definitions they're really really important because if you start talking about intermolecular forces where there aren't any molecules then you're immediately going to be losing marks okay and finally just a couple of different ways that you might see covalent bonds represented okay in electron dot diagrams we often use dots to represent electrons unsurprisingly okay so here's a hydrogen atom with its one electron shown as a dot carbon atom with four here's a water molecule which is hydrogen atoms sharing electrons with oxygen okay so you can show them as pairs of dots you could show them as pairs of crosses if you prefer okay so there's no difference between those things or you can show a pair of electrons as a line now in this molecule here, the bonding electrons have been shown as lines and the other ones have been shown as pairs, but that could just as well be shown as that. So any time you want to show a pair of electrons in a diagram, if you draw a straight line, that's what is understood to mean a pair of electrons. And it's a bit quicker if you're in an exam than drawing lots of dots and lots of crosses. Okay, here's a double bond because there's two shared pairs of electrons between those two carbon atoms and here's a triple bond okay three shared pairs all right so either with lines or with dots doesn't really matter you can use crosses you can use any shape you like 
but I think the quickest one is to go for lines. Now a good place to go next would be to watch the film that is the second in this series about covalent bonding and that is the one, let me see, it's um, yeah, electron dot diagrams, covalent electron dots one I think would be a good place to go next.